with Rock FM. So you know all the times that you've watched me drive around in a rally sim and all of a sudden I forget what I'm doing and have a major skill issue moment. But then I just tell my mechanics what to fix and hope for the best. Well, today it's time to flip those roles and hope my driver doesn't turn into Logan Sargent and give me some major issues. But yes, boys, this is Rally Mechanic Simulator. If you ever played Car Mechanic Simulator, this is basically the rally version of it. But as you can see, we have what looks like, which to me looks like a Lancer. But anyway, this is the prologue. So the game is due to come out at some point. I don't know. It's been on the prologue for many, many months. But essentially, here we get to do two rally stages. We get to do a asphalt and a gravel. Now, my car is already set up to do asphalt. So that's what we'll be doing. And the car is fully assembled, adapted for the rally, fully operational. Car is clean. Only necessary spare parts were set to start the rally. Whatever that means. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. So. Oh, here we could choose all of the spares we want to take now because i don't know how this game works i am just going to take one of everything just to be safe because if my driver is anything like me then you will know there will be a tree that he wraps his car around so there we go then, I have set all of my spare parts and this rally is going to cost us a total of 15500 give or take. But let's start this rally. So here we are then, service lane, or just service, where are you running mate? Slow down. Hey, twin brother just going past, anyway. So basically what we do, we can start the rally here and end the service basically. So we're just going to end the service, then we'll listen to the radio and see what our driver does. Hello, welcome to Bronze League Rally. This beautiful sunny day helps us welcome our today's teams. We've got some frequent flyers and some new faces. Our track is mostly straight. So we've got high chance to see some high speed action. So the track is mostly the straight. The so therefore Scott that means they're already for the win. one a the step ahead of me. Is evolving with henders. Oh this no, we have a mechanical issue. Oh dear. Now I'm stressed. Now I feel like what my WRC mechanics feel like, like, them feel them like when I go out and do a stage. Oh, suspension on the left side as well. But it looks like something serious. Two issues at one stage. At stake, every move matters as the oh no. Supremacy continues as this weave through the stage is as bad as my hairline currently. Well, what well, we got? Mechanical time. issue and suspension the on the left side. And now it's the smoking white. Like so it looks like what a great time for the, team. Would the radiator has probably exploded. Of... That's a disastrous stage. So, <laughs> after everything that went wrong, we have to look at all these things. So, basically, we've got some loss of power. I can hear whistling from under the hood. The front suspension is acting up. Now, we know that's the left side. And a whizzing sound from under the hood. Now, basically, we have 10 minutes to check everything before... So the blow-off valve and the air filter. Oh, the air filter is really bad. Oil radiator is fine. Timing belt. Manifold's fine. So what was wrong with this suspension? Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. That's not very much what I wanted to do. So what could be wrong with the suspension? Hmm. I feel it real pressure now trying to find what's wrong. There we go. Front sway bar. Yeah, sway bar is it? The steering rack's fine. So it looks like it's just a sway bar. All the way through. Right. So let's disassemble these blow off valve. Oh, 
There we go, blow off up. Let's take the air cover off. Do you know what? I need to... I need to inspect this air filter. The air filters. Yep, air filter as well. So, so there's something else wrong with the... Rounds the blow off valve. T shaped metal pipes for you. Hmm. Everything else seems to be fine. Right, I think I need to go and fix these. Yeah, let's do the blow off valve first. And basically, this is just a mini game. We have to get it in the green. Oh, we need to speed run this bit faster. Now, every click you can't get it wrong. But sometimes I find that you can get it in the green and it will still register, like there, that I didn't get it in the green. And again, there we go. Right, let's get these other parts fixed. Let's assemble them back on the car. We still don't know what else is causing with that blow off valve. Let's get that air filter back in. Oh, this is time consuming. We also need to do that sway bar as well, which is going to take a while. Let's get the blow off valve back on the car. Even though we haven't found the other issue for this. Excuse me. Thank you. Right, looks like we're going to have to get under the car here. So we need to dissemble, take this rim off. So I think that was the faulty part, wasn't it? Let's just go to test mode and just... So is that... So the front's told... Yep. Right, we need to go around here and take off this other wheel there by the looks of things. I've only got five more minutes to get this done. Five more minutes to get this done. I'm on the... Right side, yep, we want to be taking that off. And then we can get our sway bar off. Oh, let's try and give this a fix. If we can. Again, that must be a bug in the game because it's definitely in the green there. Right. Sway, sway bar type 8. Right, let's go back and try and assemble a few of these. Excuse me. I want to put the sway bar in. Thank you. And now we need to go around to the other side and get the other side attached on. Still don't know. So that is that done. Now we need to find why there is a whizzing sound from under the hood. So now whizzing could be test mode. What could be whizzing? So we've done the blow off valve. What else could possibly be whizzing? Oh, we've only got four minutes of time remaining. Steering rack seems fine, upright, calipers, discs, suspension, low gearbox mount, down pipe, drive shaft, which is really confusing me, what I am missing here. Hmm. Uh, da, da, da. So we also need to wash the car. Very, very confused here to what is going on. Intercooler is fine. So what is hissing? We've checked the air system. Guys, I'm not going to lie. I am completely stumped. Completely, completely stumped. Right, I'm going to have to give the car a wash. Send it back out. Let's just give it. We've got one minute twenty. We might as well just have another look. See what we can find. Really strange. Really, really strange. As to why, I just do not know 
what that other fault is. Oh no, I got 45 seconds. This is not not gonna end well. Right, we're just gonna have to send it out and hope that he uh, does well. Car isn't current. Oh no. We, we're gonna have failed this. I haven't put the wheels back on. I've got time. We've got to get a penalty. I'm trying, mate. I'm trying. Don't get a penalty. Front sway bar mount left and right. I'm pretty sure. Uh, front sway bar. But there's nothing. It. What is going on here? I am so confused. Why? Why have I not? Oh no. What has happened to me? The game is... The game is... Is it over here? Oh, what is going on? No! I don't think we can send the car back out here. I can't even send the car back out. We are leading this as well. But I can't send the car out. Because I don't have that... This is absolutely crazy. This is absolutely... It's ruined our rally. The game has actually glitched out on me. I wonder if real-life mechanics have to deal with this sort of trickety-tricky. That, that's disappointed me, actually.